Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 22 of Top of the Funko Pops. Um, I've got a good one coming up for you now, I'm going to say that in advance, but before I do that we must touch on last week's episode, fantastic episode by Leroy Scroogles. Thank you again for doing that Leroy. And the winner of that is just over there. Um, I think a lot of people weren't sure on the fantastic plastic range from what I was getting in the comments, but it seems to be a lot of love for them um, since Lee showcased them. So thank you for doing that mate, really appreciate it. But on to this week's episode. Um, I'm I really like this episode. I've been sat on it for a few weeks. I know I've touched on that and people have had messages, but I've put the schedule out now for the next few weeks. It was over on Instagram of who is when. So we've got um, Jason from Not Suitable for Mum coming next week and then Dad's from the Pops Miss UK the week after. But this one from JKL Awesome, um, if it's a channel you've not come across, the link will be in the description. I was going to rip a little clip and put it in, but I'm going to let you go over and check it. For me, it's the best. I love his intro. He's, in, he's got a fantastic intro to his channel really well made um, so go over and check him out and also on a Wednesday night he does a really good chat with Pop Heat just talking about different Funko things from the week um, a little bit late for me I'm not gonna lie to you half past nine most weeks but I do try and pop in or watch on the play pack because it, it is enjoyable I do like that kind of thing where people do the live chats and um, it's not something I'll ever do <laughs> don't panic but I really enjoy it but this episode um, I've waffled quite a bit again Pop Rocks, it's really good. I'm not going to do any more. I'm going to hand over to JKL. Enjoy. What's up, peeps? L Awesome up the JKL Awesome here. And today I got a video for you guys. Lee, the Pop Tart, asked me to do a Top of the Pops. And I was like, all right, let me see what I can do. And I looked at the other Top of the Pops, and all the things I wanted to do were gone. Star Wars is gone. Darth Vader is gone. Uh, Harley Quinn is gone. The Hulk is gone. I'm like, okay. What am I going to do? I was like, all right, television or something. But I got a good one for you. Uh, pop Rocks. I got about 29 Pop Rocks. So I'm like, all right, I got this. So I'm going to do my top five Pop Rocks for you. Check it out. I want to rock! <laughs> All right, guys, in no particular order, although I could easily order my top five, um, <laughs> I'm going to show you my uh, top five pop rocks. Um, when it comes to music, I like a vast variety of music, like anything that touches me in my heart or that I like, I'm going to listen to. So I don't care. I listen to everything. So pop rocks is a line that I got into late, but once I started buying them, I was like, oh, man. I like these <laughs> because I can just pick up the, the musicians that I want and I don't have to get the rest. Like some lines, you feel obligated to try to get them all, like Star Wars, they're killing me. <laughs> Although I don't have a lot of Star Wars pop up, I got a good amount, but again, mostly my favorites. I didn't get every Star Wars character. Anyway, we're not talking about Star Wars, we're talking Pop Rocks. Anyway, number one, bam! You might have seen one of my latest videos, the Chase Left Eye from TLC. I love how these look. I mean, if you've ever seen the video, you got the waterfalls, and they turn into like water reversions of themselves. So this is what it looks like. And this is just such an awesome pop. Like you can literally see through it. You can see me through it. Look, hi, hi, that's me. Um, <laughs> I love this pop. And unfortunately, I didn't get the chase of the other two, but that's all right, because this is the one I really want. Chase left eye, number one. Number two, it's the man himself, the notorious. Biggie. And this is the Toy Tokyo Golden B.I.G. Um, I love this pop. And I usually don't like the chrome ones that much. I mean, of course, you can see I got a couple of chrome Vaders up there, but come on, that's Darth Vader. Like, <laughs> there's a lot of chrome pops that I don't collect, but I had to get this golden one because, I mean, it's the classic Biggie and the crown with the cane and you know you've seen the picture with him with the crown and i just had to get it. it's this is awesome pop i just like how it looks oh, and it's biggie come on that was my man big -I -I number three you might find this funny but i'm a huge weird al fan <laughs> growing up oh man i could listen to weird Al all day and this pop it's so detailed. I mean, looking at this pop, I go right back to the video of him imitating Michael Jackson doing the fat video as a spoof on Bad. 
I mean, even the hair is textured. Like this is such a cool looking pop and I'm so happy I got it. <laughs> I mean, may not be politically correct today, but come on, who doesn't love Weird Al? He's, he's awesome. And he does what I do because I always make up my own words to certain songs. So I'm like, come on, who doesn't do that? So that was number three, Weird Al. Number four. Bam. Oh, it's the Purple Rain Glitter Prince. I believe this was the FYE exclusive. Um, my sister is a huge Prince fan, and I was going to give this to her, but I gave her all the other Prince ones. There's, there's three Prince pops, and she got all three, but I kept the Diamond Purple Rain for myself because I didn't have a Prince pop, and I love this pop. I mean... Purple Rain, a great movie that I shouldn't have been watching when I was younger, but I saw it a bunch of times. And one of my favorite albums of all time is Prince. I mean, I could listen to that album front to back, anytime, any day, on loop. I love it. And that was number four, Prince. And number five, my favorite group of all time, Nirvana. This is actually Kurt Cobain. They didn't do the whole group, but Oh, smells like teen spirit. This is what, as a matter of fact, Weird Al did smells like Nirvana. <laughs> but that actually smells like Nirvana. That video made me watch the smells like teen spirit video, which got me into Nirvana, which made Nirvana my favorite group of all time. Like I had heard some of their songs, but I didn't really get into them. And then Weird Al spoofed them. And then I listened to them and I'm like, oh my goodness, it's so cool. But this is the Smells Like Teen Spirit, um, Kurt Cobain. I actually have three Kurt Cobains. I don't have the original one. Not, I don't know. I don't even know if it's the original. There's one exclusive one that's like maybe $300. I don't have that one, but I have all the rest of them. But I love this pop. Um, I miss Kurt Cobain so much. Like, I wonder what he would have been doing or what their careers would have been like had he not, unfortunately, did what he did. But, oh, I love this pop. I love this group. One of my favorites. Uh, so with that being said, that's my top five pop rocks. Um, number one was Chase Left Eye. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, I did the left eye. Oh, I love that pop. Number two is the gold Toy Tokyo Biggie. We did oh, it, Brooklyn, goodness. we did it. So awesome. Number three is Weird Al. Because I'm fat, I'm fat, you know it. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. <laughs> I hope I said number three. That's number three, right? Okay. Number four, it's the glitter prints. Even the guitar is glittered up. Oh, diamond glitter prints, whatever. It's it's both. <laughs> some call them diamonds, some call them glitter. And number five, the man himself, Kurt Cobain. It's so guys, listen, hit up my Patreon if you like what you see and hit up my channel if you like Lee. This was awesome. Thank you for uh, hitting me up and letting me know that uh, you wanted me to do an episode. I will gladly do any episodes of anything that people ask me to do because I love just doing stuff. Anyway, <laughs> you'll see me next time. Peace. So there you go. I wasn't lying. Brilliant episode. Um... I'm going to put a vote in for this one. Some weeks I say I will, some weeks I won't, but I, I have to vote for that Glitter Prince. I'm not a massive Prince fan, but that pop is just fantastic. Really, really like that one. So there's your first vote straight in. And if you want to vote on this episode, you know what to do. Close Monday lunchtime. Put it in the comments. Uh, love the guys who give me a one to five rundown, a bit more information. But literally, if you just want to put the pop you want to vote for, that works for me as well. Uh, massive thank you to JKL. Link in the description of his channel. Go and show him some love. And until next week's with Jace from Not Suitable for Mum, it's bye for now, guys. Bye.